How's the program working? Program's for you? working okay. You know, I uh, let's see here. I uh, hit the meetings once in a while, but man, just going to the meetings. You know, you just gotta get the right one because I'm just sick and tired of. Hi, it's my birthday. You know, those those kind of meetings, and then uh, the ones I'm going to are just pretty good. I mean, you got the your regulars and stuff like that. But uh, you clean, you drinking. Uh, I'm clean, but not drink. I'm drinking water. But uh, okay, you keep it away from the evil. Yeah, I can walk through Rite Aid pretty well, you know, and just walk right past the liquor. But uh, why? Why do? Why do they have yellow caps? You know, always thinking why? Why would they, why would they put yellow caps on vodka? I wonder. You know, just pondering, just you know. But how long have you been clean from the powder for? Oof, I would say more than I'd say over a year. And how do you feel about it? Well, I feel I can get up a little more. You know, I get up early in the morning now. And, I uh, noticed that this morning. You got, you got me back at 8.35. 8.35. But then I go back and take a little nap, hit, get a little cereal, hit, take a nap. And then uh, and then I just uh, I get a heart on now. So I take the vitamins and stuff like that. The you sent me the garlic? I take the, the garlic, yeah. Three of those. How good are the farts? Um, oh, yeah, I blast yeah. them. It's a tear gas. Oh, my God. I fart on in the other. This poor bastard. Right, and it's so. I have you to thank for those, Pablo. What's that? I have you to thank for the the garlic tabs. The garlic tab, yeah, but they're odorless. But no, I guess we're... no, they're not. And they really work. Pablo. Oh, actually, you can feel the difference. When you sent me that, I yeah. thought, and the powder that you sent me, thank right? You for, thank you for the water. Man, Who man. the fuck sends you? Water? I know <laughs> the case of the water. I got a case of water in the mail. Who, who sends you water, Pablo? That's the guy that. That's the type of guy this motherfucker is. You yeah. know, but the uh, I read up on the garlic. And I got to tell you something. I yeah. felt the results. You can feel it after about three weeks later. Right. I felt the results at kickboxing. When I have to do anything, cardio. Right. I feel that it. Uh, I always have. I'm old. And right. I smoke pot. And my lungs are in bad shape. Right. I always have uh, a fear the first 15 minutes. Okay. After you do cardio. When I'm, when I'm kickboxing. Okay. Like if I'm doing the mitts or something. Right. The first three or four rounds. I have a weird feeling to me. Right. And then the next three or four rounds, once I get to the six or the seven, I loosen up. Right. Since I started the pills, I think I'm getting more blood flow. Yeah. A little because blood flow. Yeah. I'm, I have more endurance in the seventh and eighth and ninth round. Now right. I'm kicking and punching harder. Right. So I can feel that. I'm just not doing it for form. I'm actually so you're, so you're feeling it different. You feel it yeah, clear. Okay. So. And then I watched that documentary the other day. Game changer. Yeah, yeah. Too, yeah. And uh, I've been really thinking. Did you watch it, Lee? Yeah. What did you think? Um, it makes sense. It makes sense. So the whole thing is that yeah. a plant-based diet really helps with your blood pressure and then all the stuff in the meat. It uh, it's it's it's, it's very frustrating as someone who struggles with weight. How they were saying like, oh, doctors, you just just say have chicken and fish, and and even that's not really good for you. So it's like, it's uh. It's amazing how how little we know and how how like it how can have that big of a difference. Like the blood pressure that they showed, how it went down and all that. It's uh and it was interesting how they were saying, oh well, we think we're meat eaters, but maybe they had the occasional meat, but it's most of the time it was probably just veggies. And it's uh, I don't know. It's I like it's kind of weird. It got me to think, and they they didn't really talk about this, but we're like the only people like animals that eat for pleasure everyone else just eat if you see a dog they just eat what they're eating it doesn't really matter and we're, we're like meat tastes good but that obviously it has, does some negative things for you i know meat for me at my age at night i feel it do i feel it the next day no i don't i don't know what the fuck people Man, are talking your stomach's about. full i feel sugar the next day i had dessert the other night for the first you know four four ways we shared spoons, and I had dessert, and I felt the sugar the next day. In fact, I felt the sugar that I had to go work out just to sweat it out a little bit. Yeah, you take but a long time. Besides watch. that, it, it uh, feels really good. It's weird that you haven't transferred because the whole thing about really ending a, an addiction is transferring that addiction. Yeah, you okay. can take it and put something Transfer. in its place. Yeah, uh, you know, for me, it was going back to working out. You know, like I right. like it, I enjoy it. It keeps my powder dry. Right, got it you. It keeps my powder dry. Whether right. it's a half hour, hour and a half, a class, right. hitting the bag at the wide, just something that I could put the phone away. Right, right. That's right. that's 
we're essentially escaping. Right. When we're doing a 12-hour fucking run. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So now I do little escapes. What's an escape? Not having any responsibility for an hour. Right. And that's, you leave your phone in the car. Uh -huh. I know my wife is home. If something happens at the school, or somebody's going to pick the kid up. Right. That's peace of mind. Absolutely. You know, that man. little hour means so much in your life. Mm -hmm. You know, when you're a young comic, your mind is obs obsessed right. with succeeding and the industry yep. and your agents. And then one day you turn to be 40 and you're here 15, 20 years. And you see, as long as you stay active and stay true and keep writing, right. you're always going to have a job. Yeah. You know, you're always going to have work and you got some years. I don't you, 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 Becoming Kevin Hart is a lottery ticket. Yeah. yeah. You know, becoming successful, just being successful and happy right. is what you're striving for. You know what I'm saying? So right. I'm really happy. I'm, uh, like I told you in the beginning, you know, I get a lot of emails from people who are struggling with addiction. Right. You know, when they listen to the show and they feel better, it overcomes them. If anybody had an addiction he couldn't shake for a long time, beside me, it's you. Oh, yeah, man. It you was funny. It was it was all about having fun, man, for me. I didn't go my daddy. Can you get a little closer? Follow yeah. here. It was all about having fun with me. I mean, the thing was, I didn't have no problems with uh, my childhood, you know, my daddy didn't touch me in my ass or anything like that. I just was basically having a good time and it just rolled over. My friends How were old doing... were you when you started drinking? I started drinking uh, 15 years old. I started pounding. When was the first time you did a line of Coke? On uh, I did a line of Coke at my uh, history teacher's house. Uh, he, he, used to, he used to be a free enterprise in history at our, at our high school and uh, he ended up living down the street from us and we just had partied with him and I did... Metallica's Master of Puppets came out, and I was like, did my first line. I was like, lips got numb. Teacher was there. It was all good. Man. How old were you? I was uh, 16. Six fucking teen. Yeah, dude. Rat came out, and it was just the best. Molly Crew just doing lines and just little pot and lines all the time. I could take it, too. I was good. I had a good, you know, metabolism back there. But then after a while, man, oh, God, going in this class stone, and my God, thinking you're going to get busted, and you're just like... Just looking around like that, and your friends are looking. Dude, your eyes are red. I'm like, oh god. And I was, th I thought I was gonna get busted in English class first, first period. And I was just like, my blazing. I was going, oh my god, I got so stoned. And everyone's looking at me, going, man, are you stoned, man? If you look high. And then the teacher comes and goes, you know what? It's gonna be a movie today. And the lights go down. I went, oh, saved, saved by the whole thing. So that's how. I, I mean, never got high in in high school, right? Only like that one time. But on the weekends, I just go. Before right. this, what's the longest you've been clean before this? Uh, almost two years. It was and that. what made you relapse that time? Uh, found it in my house. You know, it was in between some books and just came out and just had the day off. And it's been, you know, a year and a half. Why not do a little bit, maintain it? You know, I just did two days with it and drank. Oh, so, oh my God, tons of beer. And then just went back to sober again. But, uh. You know, just just doing a bong right now. Whew. I'm like, I can't use. I'm trying to get caught in mouth with that kind of stuff. <laughs>